I can tell you in Bucks County, it is a very uh, good representation of this country. It's a very um, divided audience, but I will say to you that uh, a lot of my patients have asked me what I'm doing, and I can tell you that uh, many of my patients are feeling the same way as me. Uh, they feel like they've been led down a path and now they've seen you know, what can be offered to them. Some of them have remained very loyal to President Trump, and I respect their opinion. I really do. Uh, but I try to uh, tell them my story, and I try to tell them about my father. And my dad said, well, you know, um, uh, President Trump's in the hospital, but he got out and he ripped his mask off and acted like there was nothing to it. Um, and my father said, well, look at the president. He got COVID and it was nothing. Um, I'm going to go out with your mom for dinner. Uh, went out to dinner in Yardley at a nice restaurant for dinner, didn't wear a mask. A week later, he and my mom had colds. And uh, three weeks later, my dad died in the ICU on a ventilator with COVID-19 pneumonia. It was heartbreaking. And it reminded me as a voter, as a person, as a physician, the power of words. We want someone real in office, whether or not you agree with all the policies and all the things that, that people are saying. Regardless, I want a good person. As a physician, people trust me for my knowledge and for my caring, and I can't vote for someone that doesn't care. Uh, in Doylestown Township, we flipped Doylestown Township right in June. So it now has more Republicans registered than Democrats. We're seeing it. We're seeing the reddening happen here, and it's all because of policies. It's not personalities, it's because of policies. I personally so, uh, helped 25 Democrats change their registrations to Republicans and 75 independents change it to, uh, to Republicans. And it's, it's all the same, they're all singing from the same song sheet, to quote Joe Biden. Uh, they're, they're sick of the, the high prices. They can't afford groceries. They can't feed their kids. They're, they're looking at how tough of a time they're having and then how easy of a time illegal immigrants are and the money that, and resources going to them, but not to their families who've been paying into this system their entire lives. They're seeing that Democrats care more about, oh, well, the people who might be able to vote for them in the future than their constituents who are in pain right now.